What's up guys, welcome back to The Flop. Today's episode is episode four, and we are gonna be talking about everything bag related. We're gonna be answering the question, what kind of bag should you throw? We're gonna talk materials, throwing mechanics, and board conditions. As always, like this video if you find it enjoyable, and comment down below if there are any topics you'd like to hear us talk about in the future. But before we get this video started, we have a brief announcement. Hey guys, we are really excited to bring to you our first giveaway. Uh, we are gonna be giving away these Lucky Bag Surefires uh, Triple Crown Edition. They were generously donated to us by Daniel Cook, the OG Bag King. Thank you, sir. We are so grateful for this contribution and uh, we could not be more appreciative. So thank you for that. Uh, in order for you guys to win these bags, all you need to do is like the Flop Cornhole page on Facebook like this post on the Flop Cornhole page and comment below. Make sure that you comment on the original post from the Flop Cornhole page or you will not be entered into this giveaway. So like our Facebook page, like this post on Facebook and comment below and you will be in automatically entered into this giveaway for these cornhole bags. So thank you guys. Now on with the show. Well, all right, we are here and we are back. Welcome to episode four, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be talking about bags, everything bags related. Dad, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm, I'm ready to talk bags. I'm ready to, ready to talk about some more cornhole. Let's do it. Let's freaking go. So first of all, I wanna thank our sponsor again, Triple Crown. Thank you guys for sponsoring us and believing in us. And um, we believe in you guys and uh, are certainly happy to have you on board. Um, so we just wanted to give a quick reminder to those out there that if you are interested, Triple Crown does have an event coming up, Grand Falls Casino, January 29th and 30th. So if you're in the area or if you're not and you just feel like you want to go out there and try giving that, uh, giving that Triple Crown uh, purse a go, then head up there. Heck yeah. So today we are talking about bags. And it's it's the question that has been asked since the beginning of the time. Like the, the late, great Aristotle once said, what kind of bags should I throw? Um, he was he was really concerned about that, and so we should be concerned about it too. Yes. So we should be. And the answer the answer to our question really is, um, it depends. It depends on a lot of things. The first thing it depends on are your throwing mechanics, and then it also depends on your playing style. And in addition to that, it depends on the board conditions um, that day. So first, we're going to talk about throwing mechanics. Um, Dad, how can throwing mechanics affect your decision to play with a particular bag? Well, I think that any player understands how they throw. You may not, you know, throw every bag in the hole, but you, you know how you throw. And if you are a low, hard thrower, it probably doesn't benefit you to throw a super fast bag because you miss that hole right or left. And, and heck, we've all, we've all thrown that perfect push shot we thought where we were trying to or we we're trying to snake through some bags and we throw it on the fast side and it just hits and shoots straight over the back and then flips over to the back of the hole. So yeah. um, you want to be careful if you're a low hard thrower throwing a super fast bag. So if you are a low hard thrower, maybe a carpet bag would benefit you a little more with your throwing style. Or if you are a lofty light thrower, you may be perfect for a fast bag because you could throw the fast side of a of the fastest bag you could find and still set a block in front of the hole if you throw high enough and soft enough. So it really does make a difference on on how you throw can really affect the type of bag that you select. Yes, your your trajectory is is really important when you're making a decision on what kind of bag um, you're gonna throw. Def absolutely. So next we're gonna talk about your playing style. You know, what kind of player do you aspire to be? What What is your style? Do you wanna muddy up the board? Um, do you wanna go hole for hole with somebody? Um, Dad, what do you think about your playing style and how that, that kind of works into what bag you throw? Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent question. I, th I think that the, um, I think that what kind of player you wanna be is the next step. I mean, uh, you know, we're, if we're, we're talking from an entry level uh, perspective uh, to someone, that's when you're trying to say, okay, well, how do I feel comfortable throwing? Am I high? Am I low? Hard, fast, soft, whatever. The next logical step is what kind of player do I want to be? So maybe I do throw low and hard, but maybe that's not what I want to do. Maybe I'd rather just, I, I want to throw hole for hole. I just want to throw a bag straight up the middle 
and and go in every single time. I just want to embrace myself and become old man fast side and just freaking go hole for hole. So it really does depend. So if you want to be hole for hole, then a faster bag is, is going to be your best bet because you're wanting it to go in every single time. You don't want it to pull up short. So you're not wanting to go with like a carpet or a slower a slower style bag. You want it to go straight up and in. That That is its only job as far as you're concerned. So you would definitely want to go with more of a faster bag. If you want to be a muddle up the boards, make things complicated, uh, dirty player, then carpet is probably your best bag. I don't know a whole lot of block push players who throw Vipers or who throw um, Game Changers and things like that. I mean, obviously, some of the better players can definitely block with those bags and do whatever they want to do with them. But again, we're talking we're talking about average medium players. And so you, you feel more comfortable dirtying up things, throwing a couple bags in front of the hole, making it difficult for the person you're playing, then you're probably going to want to go with more of a carpet bag or like a hybrid bag. Um, and, and I feel like that would be your best option. Yeah, they say, they always say dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And if you want to, if you want to yeah. be a certain style of, of player, then throw the bag um, that is going to adhere to that playing style and you will adjust over time. You know, um, if you, yeah. if you've tried to block for a really long time and you, you've tried to be a block, you know, push kind of player and it's just not working out for you and you know maybe it's something that you want to get away from and you just you just want to push through blocks and you want to score as many points as you mm-hmm. can start throwing that game changer start throwing that incinerator and um, you will naturally adjust over time and you'll calibrate to that new playing style but you definitely need to stick with it for a while because it's going to take some adjustment absolutely absolutely it's going to take some adjustment i mean a lot of a lot of players i i i'm a i hate it it's a pet peeve of mine when i see on facebook where someone's like uh just got these bags in did a couple down and backs just not the bag for me and i'm like you you have absolutely no idea if that's the bag for you you've <laughs> yeah. given it a couple of down and backs the bag's not it, it's it's still a pizza box you're not you're not getting to see what the bag can do at all so it, it's always a pet peeve of mine when people say that you know just a couple down and bags but you know not not the bag for me it's not the bag for anybody right out of the package you know nobody nobody's like oh i can't wait to throw this bag it doesn't bend at all it, you know half of it can hang over the hole and it just sits there it's so cool nobody does that <laughs> yeah no so, <laughs> so so, but anyway, yes, you need to give any bag some time. If you say, you know what, I, I've been throwing up, you know, the middle. I'm not, I'm not able to, to get the bag in every single time. And I feel like I'm leaving bumpers right next to the holes and stuff. And mm-hmm. I'm making it too easy on the opponent. Maybe I want to throw a little carpet. So you start throwing that carpet, give it some time. You know, practice with it for a couple of weeks. Situationally, play ghost. Um, set bags on the board in different playing uh, scenarios and see how you react to it. Um, definitely give yourself an opportunity to get a good feel for the bag before you just give up on it. Yeah, for sure. You gotta you gotta give it time. It's like running shoes. You, you gotta break them in. Um, you can't you know you can't judge a, a bag as it comes out of the packaging for sure. And um, another thing it depends on is board conditions. So. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of pro level players don't deal with this. I, I saw a funny uh, interview with Jimmy Ewens um, the other day, and he was talking about how he didn't really understand what it was like playing in humid conditions because these guys just play inside all the time, and it's it's so cool, and they're yeah. really they're really privileged to be able to do that. But sometimes we play in parking lots in the middle of July in the southeastern United States, and it's really humid, and you can see the streaks of just water on the boards <laughs> from you throwing your bags, right. and you got to adjust for that. So, so what do you think about board you conditions do. and your bag selection? Um, I think that that is especially again for you know your medium players. Uh, I feel like you know the pros can probably fight through a bad board condition because. Even if they had to throw the crap out of a fast bag because the humidity, the humidity is just making it ball up, they can adjust to that more than a median person can. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that if I'm throwing a bag that's stalling on me because of the board conditions, I typically will will switch to a different bag because, you know, I'm a light thrower. So if I have to throw harder, 
I'm losing my accuracy. Um, even when I do like a, a flip the bag over to the fast side and do a push, I try to throw the same shot because um, if I try to really like put some oomph behind it, I, my accuracy comes and goes. I might hit, you know, one out of five uh, push attempts that, that I, that I flip over and throw really hard. So board conditions, I think matter a lot in the median world. Like, uh, for us people who are, who are not pros yet, not advanced players. So yes, board conditions can make or break you or make or break your experience. If you, um, if you don't have uh, a different options available to you to throw. Yeah. So, um, Let's get into it. Let's let's be a little bit more specific and let's speak right now just about fast bags. What do we need to know? What are our, our top, you know, you know, three to five main fast bags that you're gonna see go into a blind draw? Um, what are what are our options and, and how can we think about, you know, choosing a fast bag? Oh yeah, absolutely. So I know in our area here. Um, vipers are a very popular bag okay. you know we we have vipers and and traditionally it's more series vipers than it is like the stamped viper the stamped the newer stamped viper uh varieties mm-hmm. but um yeah a viper is your classic when people think f- classic fast bag they think ultra viper or they think um all cornhole game changer these are usually like the first couple of things that come up when someone's like you know i really want a fast bag those are the ones that come up. So um, you do have different variations of bags that are in the same speed ranges, which I believe is like a 6-8 speed range. So you've got you know your Game Changer, which is the same material over the entire bag, fast and slow side, but you have that uh, suede patch in the middle yep. that uh, is, is where you get your, um, your slowdown from. And as anyone who's ever thrown a Game Changer in humid conditions, that patch will have its way with you in humid conditions you'll kick all over the place um so you have to be careful of that um the ultra viper is traditionally a really good bag for humid conditions until they get really humid in the south where i'm at it can get so sticky down here that you'll throw that viper and it'll literally just ball up and it just hits the board and just balls up into a ball doesn't do anything so yeah so you've got um but I'm sorry, I digress. But if you if you if you're speaking to just faster bags, you do have options. So you want a Viper or even like a Cat Three, but you don't want to pay a crap ton of money. Maybe you try out the Buffalo Boards Ambush, which is pretty much Viper without the dots. Uh, I will say that to me, at least the ones that I have, it's a little fuller than a, a Viper or a Cat. Definitely, but. S- but still behaves the same way. And in fact, you know, some people might even like that it's a little fuller. It gives you a little a little more purchase in your hand. Mm-hmm. Um, you could also try um, like a uh, Fire Heat or you could try like a uh, Black Sheep Costello or 724 WMD, which is also, uh, these, are, these are good fast bags. One of my current favorites is the Sure Shot Loco right now. They've been real good to me lately. Yeah. Um, and the way, they, the way they play is just fine. Humidity doesn't seem to bother them. Now, granted, I haven't played in any glistening, watch the dew leave trails in the boards um, conditions with them. But I have played on some sticky conditions, and they're still just as whole friendly as they can be. So, um, yeah, Vipers, Ambush, Cat 3s, Heat, Locos, Costellos, all of these bags are going to do pretty well for you as far as your fast bags go. Uh, it just depends on the, the hand feel uh, that may uh, be the determining factor for you on which one you go with. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a lot of options when it comes to fast bags. Um, one awesome option uh, that we didn't mention is is the fire cornhole incinerator. Um, a lot of people right. do have problems with that patch. They really do. And so um, this is a very fast bag, um, super loose, super hole friendly, and it doesn't have that patch. Um, you know, we have our theories, you know, about how this this bag came to be. Dad, how, how do we think? How do we think this bag came to be? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything specifically, but I know that Jamie Graham loves the incinerator, and he used to. He used to be sponsored by All Cornhole, and he threw an all slide for them. So, you know, if I if if I was a uh, you know to put two and two together, I'd say maybe he had something to do with the development of the fire incinerator because the materials look strikingly similar. But um, 
I will say that, yes, you're right. The fire incinerator is also a good option, especially if you like that larger footprint bag. Um, I typically like my bag a little more compact in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, don't like a bag that's super loose and floppy. Um, just not conducive to my throwing style, which again is, you know, the point of this, you know, one of the points of this conversation we're having is throwing style matters. And for me, the incinerator is a little big. I mean, I could throw them in a pinch, but you know, I prefer one with a little smaller footprint, but yeah, you're right. It is a good bag, especially if you are a fan of the game changer, but the patch is just wreaking havoc on you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you throw the incinerator or maybe you throw an all slide, uh, and then you, you have a better, a better option there. For sure, yeah. So that you make actually a really good point about the the footprint. Um, this is something that you know we've kind of noticed in the past few years. Uh, a lot of bag companies will create that larger footprint with the sharp ninety degree corners versus the rounded corners. And yeah, it's completely up to you um, what you like. Um, sometimes the footprint uh, having a bigger footprint is nice because maybe you are blocking more of the hole. I mean, it's a little bit harder to get around. I know that fire corn holes bags um, typically have that wider footprint, um, but they also do bags like the Heat, which are fantastic bags, um, kind of like a Viper with those rounded edges. So yeah, fast bags, you have, mm -hmm. um, you can have your pick and there are a lot of different um, materials. You know, they're very similar bags, but it's really up to you and, and your preferences. So moving on to carpet bags. Um, if you've ever thought, you know, I really like to tuck my sweatpants inside my socks and I really like to wear slides and if I had my way, I'd wear a beanie and it would be barely on my head. Um, you probably want to throw some carpet bags, particularly contraband athletics, combats, you know. <laughs> 100%. But, yeah, no, it's... Uh, it's, I'm, I'm joking. It's, but it's amazing. It's the, the, the culture is amazing, but yeah, carpet bags, there's you know, a look. there's carpet bags a is look. a culture, man. It is a, you know, throwing yeah. slow bags and flopping and rolling and everything. It, it's what the kids are into these days. I, I was just playing in a regional <laughs> yesterday and these, these little kids, I mean, nine years mm. old, 12 years old, they're all throwing these slow carpet bags rolling them like crazy doing these insane yep. cuts i'm like the future is it just couldn't be brighter and it's all coming through mm -hmm. these slow style bags so let's talk about carpet bags um what are your benefits with throwing those yeah absolutely i mean carpet bags i i love carpet bags i've i've been um slowly making kind of a transition i used to just throw vipers uh exclusively and then <clears throat> I got more into wanting to be a bit more of a finesse player. Uh, like I said earlier, for me as a as a as a as a you know an average player, I can't really just hit a perfect block with a viper. So it's just too quick. Mm -hmm. So for me, carpet is where it's at. So when you get to carpets, you have you have uh, lots of options uh, for carpet bags. Just about everyone makes a carpet bag, so you can find something that you like, and. Um, there are different different styles of carpet. You have fuller carpets. You have looser carpets. You have carpets with a, a median fast side. You have carpets with a really fast side. So, I mean, you have plenty of options available to you. There are hybrid carpets also where you get into your Fallout X, your Wizards, your Warlocks, um, your Neptune, I'm sorry, your Zero Gravity Pendulums, things like that. These are all use a um, this hybrid material carpet which is a little faster than your traditional carpet so the way i look at them is there are three stages of carpet uh, you have your traditional carpet which every no one would argue that reynolds probably was the you know the that brought us carpet and made it yep. made it a big deal thank you so the traditional reynolds. the traditional yeah thank you reynolds the traditional reynolds bag uh pro advantage pro x both awesome bags um is probably your benchmark carpet Mm -hmm. Then I would say probably if it's pretty close in popularity would be like your your Viking 
um, your BG Viking, which has also that traditional style carpet, as well as the BG Mercenary. So you've got your Pro Advantage, which is a little um, slower, fast side. Your Pro X is a faster, fast side. You've got the BG Viking, which has a slower, fast side, and the Mer BG Mercenary, which has the faster, fast side. So these carpets play really well. These are very controllable. These are your popular bags. You see everyone out there throwing, rolling, doing what they want to with these bags, hitting those sick cut shots, um, anything you want to basically with these bags. So then you also have a, um, a, a bit of a slower version of the carpet, which is what you're going to find on your um, contraband combats, your Dragon Bag Beast, your uh, Zero Gravity Neptunes, Fire Torches, your yep. Kanga X, um, many other uh, bags out there uh, come with this material on them as well. But these carpets have a little more bite. So if you are a, a block player who wants to set that perfect block that somebody, it's going to be maybe a little difficult for them to push through, then maybe this style of carpet and um, is, is what you're looking for. So you can pretty much, um, you, you watch Tony Smith play, you watch Noah Wooten play, they typically throw these, these combats and they are a great bag as far as setting blocks and just wreaking havoc on the other player. Uh, plus, the combat has a super slick fast side so that it's easy to do that collect at the end when you want to try to finish up, get your bag, you know, uh, get your bag in the hole. Uh, it's got a super quick side to collect. So um, these these carpets are your, your slower carpets with a little more bite. And then your third option for carpet is the hybrid, which is like your um, your Fallout X, your Wizard, your your Warlock, those kinds of things. These carpets are a little faster than the traditional carpet of the Viking, the Mercenary, Pro Advantages, things like that. But actually love this material um, because when the boards get super humid, and a lot of people don't don't understand this that when boards get super humid a traditional carpet or a hybrid carpet it's still going to move pretty well uh, in those humid conditions but if you are wanting a little more a little faster play then the hybrids where to go um, when I first started throwing the Fallout X's just messing around with them uh, very popular in my area lots of people throw Fallout X's here um, when I first started throwing that bag I was not a fan, so it was very important to me, as we as we said earlier in the video, I stuck with it. I kept throwing it, kept throwing it, trying to dial it in, and eventually I was able to find it and grew to love this bag. When boards get humid, when I'm playing outside at a backyard barbecue or something, I've got a set of these I keep with me in the trunk. They go with me everywhere. I have a set of Vikings, I have a set of Ambush, and I have a set of um, Fallout X that I keep in my wife's car in case I'm not in my truck so that I can pull them out and go. And I'm talking about when boards are wet, like you're talking about leaving trails of moisture, you know, the yeah. Fallout X is it's going to just play regular. It just plays regular. It's just their their bag just bunches up. That fallout, that hybrid carpet just slides straight up and in the hole just as easy as you like. And uh, it's a lot of fun to play with. So I wouldn't sleep on the hybrid bags. But those, I would say, are your three levels of carpet. Yeah. Um, carpet is awesome. Uh, I personally throw carpet. I think it's the best. Um, I'm, obviously, <laughs> I'm obviously biased. But um, yeah. what's really cool about the carpet um, the carpet type bags now is you have um, you have your pick you don't it used to be you know I have Reynolds Pro Advantages and it's just a slow um, you know slow slower bag really it's a it's an all around slow bag I'm gonna have to throw it really hard it's gonna be hard to you know sneak through or, or do any kind of you know sneak arounds or anything like that whereas now you have bags like the BG Mercenary. Um, where you have that quick game changer type material on one side and then you've got your traditional carpet on the other side and that's really really useful and I think it serves the average player very well um, because as much as we would like to be perfectly skilled and doing everything and executing things as we would like to um, sometimes it's just better to have a more whole friendly side of the bag and then a side that's better for you know blocking or, or or whatever you know your intention is and so um, but I will say with the with the carpet bags that have a very fast side on the other side um, I, I was actually just watching a, a cornhole science video with Anthony Ione 
um, and he was talking about how if you have a quicker side um, on one side that's a more slinky material, um, the, the probability of executing those rolls um, more often or like your roll percentage basically can kind of go down because um, the bag is not keeping its form as well because when it hits, it does still have a side that is giving, you know, when you throw a game changer, you could throw it, you know, eyes closed, grab it by the corner and fling it and it doesn't matter because it's going to hit the board and then flatten out like a pancake and slide in the hole. Whereas, um, you know, right. these carpet bags, they need to be flat. They need to be straight on path. And if not, they're going to kick. So, you know, if you're a person right. that's really trying to get your roll percentage up, you might not want to look towards these um, carpet side with like a very, very fast side. But, you know, I say that and then, you know, somebody proves me wrong and just rolls game changers <laughs> right in front of my face. Um, so yeah, you never know. Yeah, it's 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 all about skill level. I mean, honestly, any bag can roll. Any bag can anybody can hit a roll bag with any bag. It just matters. It's a matter of your skill level. Mm -hmm. I was watching um, Jamie Graham the other day on Facebook playing somebody and watching him roll his incinerators. Yeah, which is a fast faster bag. So it all you know, it's just he's able to backload it and he's able to be accurate with that. So. Yep. Anyone can roll anything, you know. I mean, even to your point about the faster material on the on the carpet, you know, Tony Smith throwing combats got that game changer material, but he rolls them like nobody's business. Yep. Um, but yes, for your your and as to speak to what Anthony Iom was saying, if you're trying to perfect a roll bag, then you may not want to start with a roll bag that's got a slinky material. You want to probably not start with a mercenary or a, a WTF Delta or a com contraband combat, you may want to go ahead and start with, uh, with your Viking or your Neptune, you know, something in that, in that, in that range, mm -hmm. um, in that speed range to, to hold form, you know, a little puffier bag that's going to, that's going to bounce a little bit, you know, when it makes contact with the board, it flattens out and it's able to bounce and, and do that, execute that role that you're, that you're trying to get, which, um, also, uh, speaks to some bags. Some of these carpet bags may be a little, uh, looser, like I've noticed the fire torch bag, for instance, um, is a little looser carpet bag. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's great in some ways. It flattens out a little better. It's less likely to kick, but I find it a little more difficult to roll. And I, I'm not, I'm not Tony Smith. So I don't execute every roll that I try to do. I execute less than, than, I, you know, a percentage, or let's just say that I execute less than I'm proud to say that I execute. So, um, um, but yeah, but that torch bag is a little more difficult for me because it's a little more floppy. So the BG uh, Viking I typically find is, is is a really good fit for that roll shot and uh, executes pretty pretty easily and pretty consistently. So yeah, it it, it makes a difference. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so basically, what we're saying here, I know that was a lot, but pretty much you can pick your poison. Um, there are a lot of bag companies. There are a lot of materials and fills to choose from, but you know, it's all up to you. We can't tell you what bags to throw, um, but you know, it's a really fun process looking for new bags and just relentlessly buying bags. It's just, it's an obsession. <laughs> it's an addiction for a lot of us, but it, it's a fun time. I definitely, I definitely have a problem. Anyone who knows me knows that I have a problem uh, with bags. Like I need, I need all of them. I need all of the bags, every one of them. And um, so, yeah, and to, to kind of piggyback on what you were saying, you know, a year ago, a year and a half ago, if you wanted a Viper, you had to buy a Viper. If you wanted a game changer, you had to buy a game changer. An all slide, you bought an all slide. If you wanted a, a carpet bag, you're probably buying a Pro Advantage or a Pro X from Reynolds. Um, but recently, they, all of these bag companies are pretty much sharing materials. You can pretty much find the bag that you're looking for at the price point that's good for you. Um, and I love that. I think that is so cool. And I, I have a lot of bags that... Um, are, are high value bags and, and I've paid for them. But I also have a lot of bags that I try out and that I throw that are that are uh, not in that high price range because you never know, you might find something you fall in love with. I mean, and um, and I found a lot of things that I really like. These Sure Shot Locos, very affordable bag, but man, they play amazing. And, you know, I'd put them up against anything. I'd put them up against anything. I, I've been very happy with the way that it plays and um, didn't have to pay $300 for it. So... 
the cool thing is is that now if you want a Viper or you want a Cat 3, you don't have to drop $300 on a bag. You can try out the Ambush. You can try out the, the Loco. You can try out the, the Fire Assortment, the Heat, or the Incinerator. These bags are very reasonably priced. And you can get them pretty much available, you know, anytime you go to the sites. They're usually in stock. So, I mean, these are, these are great options uh, out there for you. So, if there's something you want to try and you're like, well, I really want to try the Viper. I don't have $300 for it. Don't worry. You can find something. Um, I'm happy to help anybody. I'm, I've always tried to be very uh, helpful in the community. So, if anyone has any questions about bags or um, what bag you may feel like is you know that you need to try because you like a certain type of bag reach out to me uh comment on the uh, facebook page comment on this video uh, i'm happy to help anybody reach it reach out to me on facebook directly i don't mind um but yeah there there's so many options out there that there is something for every player and every player can be great no matter how much money they spend on their bags i'm not there yet and i've spent too much money on bags so it just proves the point no, yeah, I think I think a few more hundred dollars, um, and you'll be there. You'll you'll yeah. reach the level you're looking for, for sure. No, but absolutely. In, in all seriousness, uh, throw what you guys want to throw. Throw what looks cool to you. Throw what feels good to you. Um, you don't have to be obsessed with bags like us um, to be a fantastic cornhole player. Um, I know some amazing players that. They get rid of their bags. They're like, yeah, I have a set of Vipers. I have a set of Game Changers. And that's just what I do. And they, trust me, they have no problem beating me at the blind draw when I walk in <laughs> right. with all of my bags. So, yeah, you guys definitely mm-hmm. don't need to worry about, you know, keeping up with the Joneses as far as bags go. But it is fun. And we love to talk about it. And, um, yeah. you know, but honestly, you probably you probably do need all of them in order to tell which ones you need to throw. I believe that completely. I have lived my life to this point believing that I need to have all of the bags, every single one of them. Yeah, that's (laughs) great. That's great. Well, yeah, yeah, in all seriousness, um, it is good to have different bags for different conditions. Um, You know, if you're going to a blind draw, you have, you know, a partner that likes to throw certain types of bags. It's cool to be able to offer them um, different choices. And it's just, it's just a fun game to play all around. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode all about bags hopefully you know we didn't confuse you um in talking about uh you know everything relating to bags but hopefully it was informative and you can kind of make a decision on what direction you want to go as far as what kind of bags you want to throw yeah exactly and um so we hope that you've gotten something beneficial out of this conversation and we hope that you uh enjoy the content if you do enjoy the content please sure please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Also like our page on Facebook. And remember, if you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to comment in the video below and we'll be happy to answer all all questions. So until next time, thank you guys for joining us. Thank our sponsors again, Triple Crown, and we hope to see you soon.